My name is Liz Tyser, Public Health Emergency Coordinator for Johnson County, Kansas. This Dispense Assist training is brought to you by the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment with funding provided by the Centers for Disease Control Cooperative Agreement. All information provided in this training is for educational purposes only and should not be relied upon solely for emergency planning purposes. Processes, products, and trademarks shown are only for examples and do not reflect a specific endorsement of any product. Dispense Assist was created and is maintained by the government of Johnson County, Kansas. There are a variety of prerequisite trainings recommended before completing this training video. These prerequisites may help you better understand the statements, processes, and basic principles referenced but not discussed during this video. Basic Dispensing NIMS 700, ICS 100 and 200. The following topics are covered in this training. History of Dispense Assist. Dispense Assist Process. How to provide pills. Pills versus influenza vaccination. Summary and local information. Implementation and records management. Dispense Assist was developed by the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment as its solution to the medical countermeasure requirements of the City's Readiness Initiative, or CRI. The planning standard requires the entire population of a jurisdiction to be provided with life-saving medical countermeasures within 48 hours of the decision to provide them. For Johnson County, that's over a half million people. Dispense Assist was conceived as a local solution based on the work and research of health departments in the San Francisco Bay Area. The screening algorithm, question methodology, and written protocol were all developed in the San Francisco Bay Area, but used with permission to develop Dispense Assist. DA works by allowing the public to complete their medical screening online before dispensing sites open, thereby expediting the dispensing process. In the fall of 2011, Johnson County established an internal work group to begin development of a mass dispensing tool that would meet departmental needs. Several goals of the project were identified. Being simple and sustainable, incorporation of electronic screening, leveraging of the six to 12 hour time frame before the receipt of state and federal medical countermeasures, allowing for use during non-emergency events such as annual influenza vaccinations, being accessible anytime to anyone via the internet must support close site dispensing planning. There is no cost to use DA and assistance is available through the website. The dispense assist process is very simple. In the event of a bioterrorism incident or pandemic influenza, the local jurisdiction needs to dispense antibiotics in the case of anthrax or vaccine in the case of pandemic flu. If there is a case of limited exposure to aerosolized anthrax, like an office building, a specific message to the people exposed in the office building will direct them to complete their voucher online. In the event of a community-wide exposure to anthrax, the message will direct the whole community to complete their voucher. The local jurisdiction sends out the message that medication is needed. The dispensing locations are set up, staffed, and opened people arrive with their completed vouchers. Different jurisdictions will have different processes, but in general, if they have their voucher, they are immediately directed to the dispensing line. If they do not have their voucher, they're instructed to complete one on site. That location may be off-site like a library or a school computer room, or it may be a kiosk right there at the dispensing site. Each jurisdiction chooses which process they want to use. Individuals who are directed to the dispensing line will have a printed voucher containing the demographic and health screening information. The top, a letter or a group of letters in the upper left-hand corner indicating which medication the individual can receive. A C indicates they have been medically screened and can receive ciprofloxacin or Cipro for short. A D indicates they have been medically screened and can receive doxycycline or doxy for short. A C slash D indicates they have been medically screened and can receive either Cipro or Doxy. If the individual can receive either, the jurisdiction's protocol must indicate which medication is to be dispensed. This could be as simple as stating, in the event of a C slash D voucher, Doxy is the primary medication. 
Persons with an X should be directed to either a supplemental screening station on site, to their own physician, or to a physician partnered with the jurisdiction for further evaluation and medication provision. Each jurisdiction will have their own protocols for handling these individuals. The label is removed from the pill bottle and placed on the voucher. Each bottle is labeled with the correct name and date of birth. The individual is provided the FDA-required emergency use authorization, as well as any other required handouts, and reminded to take all the pills as directed and to follow up with their physician. The voucher is kept and the person is instructed where to exit. The entire dispensing process for one voucher should take less than 45 seconds. If the individual has multiple vouchers to process, each additional voucher should take less than 30 seconds to process. The process related to providing influenza vaccine using DA is only slightly different than when using DA for pill dispensing. The voucher information is exactly the same with regards to demographic information, screening question responses, and where to document the lot number and what was provided to whom. The difference is in screening. DA will screen for one medication or the other for pill dispensing. For influenza, DA only determines if the person is medically eligible to be vaccinated. Dispense Assist does not make a determination of what vaccine to provide. The responses to the screening questions help the vaccinator determine the appropriate vaccine to administer based on the jurisdictions, agencies, or hospitals protocol. Only the first three questions determine if the person can or cannot receive vaccine. The rest of the questions determine which vaccine to provide. They are directed to the vaccination station with their voucher. If no voucher is provided, then that individual is not a suitable influenza vaccine candidate. Simply put, when dealing with pill dispensing, the following basic information applies. One, something has happened. Two, a decision is made to dispense medication. Three, a message is sent out to the exposed population to complete their voucher. Four, people arrive at the designated location with their voucher. If someone does not have their voucher, they are directed where they can complete one. Five, individuals with a completed voucher are directed to the medication dispensing area. Six, the appropriate medication is dispensed based on the voucher. Seven, the person exits with their medication. Dispense Assist replaces the need for screening teams, enables screening to be done at freestanding kiosks at the dispensing site, and allows for a 100% non-medical model for dispensing. When implementing DA, Existing resources and processes should be taken into consideration. You'll need to develop very specific messages directing people to the Dispense Assist link on your designated website. If the internet is not available, create messages that direct people to the locations where you have self-service kiosks. Because Dispense Assist produces a unique QR code at the bottom of each voucher, electronic data about each individual coming through the dispensing site and the total number of doses can easily be captured. Information about the medication or vaccine given and who dispensed it can all be scanned and stored into the Dispense Assist Client Records Database or your own records management system. If you decide not to use the QR code for data management, DA still provides the benefit of a typed document recording each individual's information versus a handwritten one. Please go to www.dispenseassist.net for the latest information.